Alright guys, we're back with how to add speed, and the only way to do it is to have speed yourself, to stand there and ask for it. It's, it's, it's not going to happen. You either have to have speed or the illusion of speed. And if you said, what, what is a, a, you know, what could get the dog, if you ask your average person, well, what could get the dog running? Oh, if its friends come over, it starts running around. My daughter brings her dog over, they start running. You know, these other dogs seem to be able to elicit this running from these dogs non-stop but the owner can't get the dog to come to him they've got to say to themselves what does this dog have that i don't have the vets moving around it's moving around and it's it's got the ability to move fast and that's fun that's fun so this is a very nervous type dog and, and people that would say oh you, you're you can't use it on this it's it's the best thing to use and if you said what's making him nervous right now he smelled that bug spray and there are dogs I've seen it before. It's, it happens. They're afraid of that chemical smell. Whatever it is telling their brain, whatever that is, it's telling their brain it's something bad. So it kind of spooks them. Kind of in a way, and my dogs up north don't usually, but there are some dogs down here. I've seen it that were spooked by smoke. You know, if they smelled smoke, they would be spooked. So there is some of that. And that's what this dog is. He smelled that um, bug spray. So then he was like, uh-oh, threat, threat. Uh, yeah, yeah. So my job is, and obviously this battery's dying on this stupid collar, is if this dog's impulse was to run away from a threat, my job is to just grab a hold of the impulse system of the dog and ask it to do something else, not tell its impulse system, control yourself, dog. I can't do that. So if you said, how can you do it? If his impulse is to run. So if I want to fast send to the platform, my job is to make it clear to the dog, meet me there, meet me there. Not you go there. And if you said, you're yakking it up with your arm. Yeah, I am. And if you said, why? They see flashing movements. If you said that little, you know, they can see that little, yeah, that might not be a bad thing. Yeah, there you go. Look what I invented. Sure, that was just because Crash tried the thing off, but if you said they didn't see that flash, then I'm sure he did. All right, he's got a standalone behavior of that turn. And he actually has a sit on his own. He grapples my leg, though, and if you said, well, he does that with the other dogs, he does. He grapples their back with that one paw. Okay, so if I want him to send to the platform, I should have a point B. I'm already looking at it. That really wasn't a good point B. Point B can be this. He second guessed me for a minute when he looked back and if you said, why didn't you just say go, go, go? That wasn't my job. My job was to even more show my determination that that's where I was going. And if you said, what do you do now? Cut your distance in half, watch. Cut your distance in half. There's your precursor. You said I don't like the way it's getting up there. What? And, you know, if, uh, if not, I'm not helping myself. If I use this for a marker, I'm better off. There's my precursor. Because if you said, where could you go with this? You could do the cone thing pretty quick. I just can't have any cones out here. There's the precursor, there's the... I'm actually sending the dog ahead by virtue of this arm going back because that's indicating it's getting ready to try to gear itself up to go fast forward, as fast as this stupid thing can go. That's what he's thinking. But because I can activate that pager in conjunction with my movement, it makes me seem like I'm faster than I am. So here's my location. There's my precursors. The arm is going to go back with the pager. This arm went back because... the. I do think if you, you can tell people that don't have any background in retrievers because they send them with the opposite arm. Should some people send them with that arm for some, and if you said, why is that not good? You're limiting yourself as far as anything directional. Okay, hang on. 
But I'm not saying to myself at any point I want the dog to go ahead. I want the dog to see every precursor. That means I'm going there and believe it. Here comes the arm. There's the fingers out. This arm's going to go back. My job is to show up and pay for the job. Show up and pay for the job. Uh-oh, my battery's going dead. Yes, Faiz, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but I'll help you. I think you might have gotten scooped into one of these bad methodologies. I'm only using the pager. I'm on zero. I'm not trying to stop the dog from doing anything. I'm trying to get it going. And if you said, give me an example, oh, like put a boy behind the wheel of a car. They're not trying to stop this thing. They're hitting the gas, hitting the gas, hitting the gas. Seeing how fast this thing can go. How fast can I make it turn? How fast can I make it go? That's what you got to think of. If you said no, when I got my first car, I said, mom, may I parallel park the car and sit in it for two hours? Hell no guy ever said that in their life. They said, show me where the gas pedal is. I get this thing and drive. Arr! You know, they never look back. So that's how you've got to think of it. If you've got an active young dog. My job is hit that gas, hit the gas, hit the gas, hit the gas. So what I'm doing with, the, what you're doing with Constant is shutting its physiological system down. Its body is saying, I'm under attack. Where, what the hell? Is it something to do with this guy? Whereas this is saying, it's, it, I don't want to make it too deep in the beginning. It is kind of a language, though. And he said, well, I'm, well, I'm not saying anything. There's my precursor. There's my, this arm going back is going to coordinate with this leg going forward. And if you said, you're not going to be able to speed that all up, Larry. Oh, I am. <laughs> I made it all happen real fast right there. He doesn't need any more time than that. You know, if you've got really good friends that are really, you're really, really good friends, and you say, come over now, they say, I'll be right there. If that's my really good friend, and he sees that, you know, I'll get there first. You know, it's like if you went to try out for a drill team. If me and Kanga went to try out for a drill team, and they said, okay, well, here's the tryouts. You're both going to go over here. You're both going to run to the platform. They're going to say, okay, well, we figured out your friend is faster, so your friend is going to go ahead. And I was thinking about that this morning. If we said listed the kind of dogs that go ahead of the handler, herding dogs, schutzen dogs, police dogs, tracking dogs, hunting dogs, fill in the every kind of dog. So why would a dog walk right beside you? And he will heal. And he, you'll see why his name is Kanga. So that's his impulse is already... And I didn't have the pointed hands, but I had like three of the precursors. So I set up nine precursors. If you showed somebody nine scenes from a movie, the nine best scenes from a movie and then waited and then showed them one scene and said, what's the name of this movie? They're going to be able to figure it out. The dumb ones might need two or three scenes. So that's what you're thinking of. You know, I just want a little clip, a trailer from this movie. If you said, I can't watch a trailer from a movie and figure out what it is, oh, you're not going to. You've got to get rid of your dog. You're not going to use Other people. All right, good deal. You've got that tight. That was a false start on his part. But that's, if you said, what did you do? What I did right then was glossed it over real quick, made it seem like it's my idea. You said, I'll oh, correct him for a false, oh, don't correct him for a false start. When people say they're anticipating, I said, well, then you're doing it right because they're figuring out what you want. If you said, well, what would that be like? Well, like if you hired somebody and you told them to, and then you went outside and they were already doing it without you telling them. <laughs> oh, wow, they're great. With a dog, if they it anticipates, now we're going to correct it, ugly. So he's moving with me. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. There's all my precursors. Leg, bam. Oh, shit. 
Okay, you said what got in the way. I'll tell you what got in the way. He swerved because of the molly effect. He unfortunately has not been trying to jump the molly yet. All right, so this dog is a shape to retrieve. And because I got a lot of speed coming back to the platform, uh, I should go for this. That's what I do when I drop anything. All right, watch. So, I mean, you can see. If I didn't have him coming back to the platform, without the dumbbell, it's not going to work with the dumbbell, so... Anyway, all right, guys, I'll be right back. With, I got to grab my charger, but I'll be right back with a couple more episodes. But, yeah, you've got to get it on zero. What we need to do, send me a private message, because what we need to do is run damage control before you do anything else. You need to just stop whatever it is you're doing for right now. And I, I know you're going to think it sounds crazy, but just start handing the dog treats, very like you would hand a maitre d' a tip, and don't say anything. Don't say anything. If you said... I'm not comfortable with the amount of verbal commands you're giving it. I don't think I said one word to it. I did all the speaking with the pager, and if you said, well, you're not going to be able to add words to that, yeah, I am. That's what people don't understand. If there's not a behavior there, you can't add a word. Once a behavior is there, I could call it anything I wanted. You know, so anyway, all right, you guys hang on. Let me 